Greetings from the Eccentric Man, and today's video is how I went about building the Charlie Foxtrot Red Lion Pub. Some tips and some hints on how to do it. The Eccentric Man YouTube channel is kindly sponsored by Lost Art Games in Stevenage. Check them out online and in store for all your gaming goodies, and you can play in store as well. Check them out. Key things to know then, on the Charlie Fox Top website, you will find details for the instructions for the build. It's a one sheet piece, which gives you information on what you need to do. I really, really recommend doing a dry fit uh, of all the pieces, the floors, before starting to glue it. Choose a good wood glue. I've gone for Gorilla Glue. Uh, it's quite a good, strong one. Key things to look at on this picture, you can see there's grooves either side of the doorway. These take a wooden beam that goes across, so important to note that for the ground floor. Once again, an important point to notice, you can see here, I've put in the connecting beam across the first floor uh, two walls. Same as ground floor, so make sure you do the top floor as well. My recommendation for the roof is three pairs of hands. Uh, it is a little bit tricky if you're doing it on your own. Uh, again, make sure it's a dry fit. Key thing is trying to get it balanced uh, on all of the sides. If you do it very carefully, you should be able to get all the pieces lined up and particularly that middle central piece, the triangle. However, you do get plastic strips which can go along the roof and also down the uh, edges of that triangular bit to make it look like uh, flashing. Hopefully, once you've got all the roof sorted out, it will fit neatly onto the top of the building. Here you can see uh, all the levels and the roof. As you can see, I didn't get it quite right. The uh, The central triangle bit there is, is not particularly uh, straight or neatly put in place. However, it was as best as I could do with only two pairs of hands and it was ready then to move on to the next bit and what i thought i'd do is i'll start to do a bit of painting painting wise i went with the just the say standard vallejo paints and some games workshop ones so i thought i'd like a red background with the gold lettering and black on the framework added a bit of white on the right hand side to then do the detailed work for the ales wines and the spirits the lettering was done with a fine lined uh, black marker pen uh, and it came out quite well I thought. As you can see the triangle piece is a little bit uneven, uh, a little bit up from one of the roofs on one side and a little bit uh, gappy at the top. Fortunately I can get around that. I decided to use uh, card to make uh, tiles so I got me a cereal packet and drew up my squares on the reverse of it so the rough side because you want to use the shiny side because it's better for painting once you've drawn up your, your strips cut the strips out and use them as a long run across the building much easier to uh, stick them on that way and to get your overlaps right once all the strips were done i then went on to the chimney and the plastic strips along the top and over the triangle uh, flag up here, the chimneys have a small uh, bit of wood on the inside of it and you need to file that away to get it to fit neatly over the ridge of the building. Once you get that in place, then you can put on your strips and then uh, I then moved on to the painting of it and I used uh, Halford's Grey Primer for it. For a bit of a change, I then went back to the uh, base ground floor and did the uh, bricks. I used red leather, Vallejo, and also orange brown. A couple of the uh, random ones thrown in there. A bit of Agrax earthshade over the top, and then a little bit of highlight and a bit of uh, dry brushing to give them a dusty worn look. If you follow the uh, online web blog, uh, it talks about chinchilla dust, so I had a visit to the pet shop and I got myself a bag of the uh, the dust and I got myself a roasting tin from uh, the uh, supermarket. I used a 
quick dry resin modeling glue and all you do is paint it over the walls and you dip into the chinchilla dust uh, and it comes away you've got to be careful though because it can have a tendency to brush off if you hit it so what you've got to do is you've got to make sure that you use uh, some good paint to tie it all together and i went for the uh, the santex wall paint i had some that i was using for a previous project and it worked really well the paint formed a nice barrier and tied all the chinchilla dust together uh, making it much more firm and stable next up a little bit of work on the doors mephisto on red to the rescue with a bit of uh, agrax earthshade and then evil sun scarlet and if you really want to highlight it up a little bit wild wider red uh, i did the same for the lions on the pub sign lastly for the roof i went with the panes gray here the graduate acrylic and then put some uh, off-white into it to do uh, some dry brushing to give it a nice uh, little used look over the roof the chimney pots they were with um, orange brown with a bit of agrax shade, shade and then just a little bit of uh, off-white added in to get them looking a little bit lighter and uh, that was it for the build the the whole pub all done not done the inside but the outside is uh, all finished and there we got a couple of bad squiddo ladies standing outside waiting for it to open so i hope you enjoyed it and that you can add some of the uh, techniques into your next build and uh, don't be put off having to go at some of these midi mdf buildings because they can look really good when you get them done anyway thanks very much for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it uh, hit the notification button and subscribe if you haven't already done so until the next time take care